Welcome to. Why are you in it? Oh, I thought I was gone. Shh, it's got to be silenced before for the editing. We're up in the kitchen, we're making a mess With original recipes, we're trying our best We hope it tastes good, cause that's the point of this thing We're whipping it up, we're whipping it up We're whipping it up with Whizbang Welcome to Whipping It Up with Whizbang My name is Cody I'm Corey We're in the band of the deal Making a uh, pesto artichoke and Havarti grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I guess we're gonna start with uh, Corey here's going to butter outsides of bread with butter. Land of Lakes. Did I get you that knife? Yes, I did. And while he's doing that, just, oh, we forgot. We already washed our hands, but that's the best. You know, you got it, you got it, you don't prepare nothing. I'm gonna be food. thinly slicing Havarti cheese. Yes. Uh, should I get a cutting board or not? Is this a cutting board? Uh, probably not, but that'll probably be a Well, I'm already cutting. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> oh, man. Cooking is not my strong suit. But anyway, you just butter that down like that. We gotta do a little better than that. Get you some cheese going on. Thank you. Okay. This Could've will use be a better knife. Yeah, this butter's not really spreading either. Get you that butter on there. I wish it spread as easily as COVID. Oh, don't say that. It's not nice. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, so? probably. Is that bad? Yeah. Well, COVID spreads easily this don't. What am I supposed to say? This is terrible. Some people get paid to do this. Mm-hmm. I lose my job. Yeah, this is. Ooh, try man. this beast here. Yeah, th this is gonna be a disaster, ain't it? Mm mm. It's all about how it turns out and what it tastes like. Is this even butter? What is this stuff? There, is that little guard? Yeah, it looks fun. It's pretty good, ain't it? There's you some cheese. I mean, you want a little burn, don't you? I don't mind it. Now we got to. Put some pesto on the insides of bread. That's what we need to do. I need a spoon. Table or tea? Uh, I, don't know. I feel like there's a third spoon out there too. You know, just not talked about, right? So you you you've only got two pieces of yes. bread. Yes. What? Okay. Do you rush a sculptor? Uh, no, I've never hired one. All right. As you can see, trying to avoid disaster. Let's just cut the act and do it our way. Forget this. All right, forget, yeah, forget this. I'm just gonna get in there like I can do it at the house. All right. What have you thought in the microwave for about five seconds? Oh, the microwave. Dang, five seconds. I'll do 10. Five seconds. There ain't no light on or nothing? I don't think so. I don't even know if it's on. Oh, story. Oh, that's good enough. That actually was a pretty decent idea. Yeah, I'm full of them. Whoa. Yeah, look, look at that there. there. Told you. Give this man an award. Okay, I take back what I said. I got land of lakes, I ain't buying caribou. We good. So that's what the tip is there. If, you, if you're butter, you need to put the thing in the microwave. You put that in the microwave for five seconds, 10 seconds. What we do, 15? I don't know. But yeah, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's just a little radiation. However, I believe it's called microwaves. Whatever. Instant. Eh? All right, we got that done. Now we're going to didn't throw it in the tray. Put pesto on the inside here. Well, I'm not done. I don't know, I'm gonna put pesto on there for you. Okay. Hopefully we don't got microwave. <laughs> nah. 
We're going to spread pesto on the insides of these, like so. It's like a painter with his canvas. You want it to look good. You want to spread that. You want to look good while you do it too, right? Yeah. I spread that all around in there. Mmm. Wow. It's like doing drywall. Sparkle. Something like that, I think. I don't know, paint. All righty, we're going to do the same thing on these. Right. Those ones are good, bro. Dude, you don't listen to me. It yeah, it smells very good. Nice fragrance and aroma of basil. Here, flip that over. You don't need that much butter, bro. I said you did. Don't flip it over, then I'll do it. Be better off, please. Mmm, 45% less fat. That's probably why. Yeah, they, they got they got put something in that damn thing and made it bad like that. Yeah, mm. I, don't say on there though. Didn't tell you to microwave it either. All right, we're done with the pesto on the inside. You can do more or less on your personal preference there. I want more on mine. That sure. looks nice. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that cheese is a horrendous disaster, but... Well, you know, it'll melt. You gonna melt all this? Look at this. I'm getting a big one. I love cheese. And then we're going to put a slice of Havarti cheese on bottom of bread. Yeah, we are. Like so. Mmm, Havarti cheese. That we're gonna look good. We're gonna add artichoke hearts. We are going to... Uh-oh, I just realized we need a spatula. How we didn't think of this? Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we are. Oh, God. We're going to place artichoke hearts on the center. I'm going to wash this off. No, you know what? Let's just pass it around and wash it. Artichoke going on the sample. Hey, you got this worth the liquid? Oh, yeah, right here. And then we're going to top the artichokes with another piece of cheese, like so. <laughs> she really had the right. Place other piece of bread on top, creating sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Wow. Thanks for telling me how to make a sandwich. Mmm, look at that. It don't look too good now, but it, it will. Before you hope it does. Take over, turn that skillet on. Yes, sir. I'm just going to do a drying action on this. I'm just going to wash up. Oh, turn the skillet on high to heat it, and then we'll cook it on whatever that paper says. Why do we have fire? Why are doing that? Oh, OK, hi. Huh. All righty. Dude, you really are seriously. I'm just salvaging the butter. That stuff was like $5. We're going to heat large skillet over medium heat. Not hot. Oh, Lord. You put it on high. Dude, we're heating the dough. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we're going to place skillet in skillet, butter side down. Okay, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to have a house fire, probably. All right, now we got to get on there and get it going. Is it hot enough yes. yet? Good to go. Or should I say good to go? Mm -hmm. Is it hot enough? Yes. I'm going to place them in there like so. Oh, you, remember, you got to turn that heat down. What are you doing the heat down? You do it. Turn the heat down now? Uh, yeah, you don't want to cook it them over high. It'll burn the bread. You want to melt the cheese. Medium. Cook it on... Me. I ain't inviting you to the cookout. I, I wouldn't want to go. What a cook. Did you turn that down? No, I didn't. Turn it down. To what? Medium. Six, four, medium. three. Medium. medium. There ain't no medium on there. It's four, five, and six. Yeah, it'll probably be okay. We're going to let them cook. 
Like so, I'm already smelling the bread burning from it. No, it ain't no egg. Turn that beast down. Oh man, we made a mess here. I'll have to clean that up. Yes, sir. But anyways, we're getting it done. Might be unorthodox, but you know what? We're gonna need three plates. Where are they put a lot the plates of things are. You know what? It don't matter. I wonder where the plates are. Uh huh? You know, we probably should have looked for those. Is this open? Ah, uh, it's just aesthetic. Three plates here for three sandwiches. We got some noise, a flash in the pan, my friend. Oh, like you better grease. flip that. It like grease lightning. Flip it fast. There you go. Yes. So make sure the heat's down. You don't want to burn it. I turned it back up. Well, don't. Why? Because it'll burn the bread and not melt the cheese. I said I could. Oh, man. That's already a pop. It's smelling good. <whistles> no problem, though, you don't have the cheese melted yet. Yeah, not yet. Now fix that bread. What do you think I'm doing? Okay. Get out of here. Go bottle somebody else. I need to find a knife to cut this grilled cheese. We'll use this. These are the scars of war. Battle. We're just letting that thing sit on there and cook and do its thing. We should have just did hot dogs, bro. I would have just drove to mid midway if we did that. Brought him in and said, oh, I'll cook them at the home. It's looking good. You know what I'm gonna do? Just add some cold wool. No, 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 no. We already got butter in there. Don't do that. Dude, it'll be all right. No, don't do that, please. Why? What's it going to hurt? Because it'll be too much. You already What's it going to hurt? No, you already got a lot of What's butter. What's it going to hurt? Tell me that. Whatever, do it. Thank you. Now for the video. It's all soggy. Yeah, it ain't cooked yet. Give it a little bit of kiss of heat right here. Let's get it going just hot right quick. No, it's not gonna melt the cheese. Then we're gonna get a hot for just a split second. In the old press. As you all can clearly see, we don't do this. I don't think we've ever did this before. Could you tell? Mmm, buttery goodness. There you go. Now we're gonna let them continue. Leave the heat down. This is probably gonna be the worst episode. Ah, the cheese is starting to melt, so we're did. doing our job. Because they got you in here working. Oh yeah, it's me. Most of the time it is. Okay, we're letting that cheese melt and the butter is getting, the I got bread is getting Bob technique. Push down. golden brown. That's about all I know how Let's to give do. them one more flip there, Cor. Okay. Yeah, because that's getting really oh, good. Oh man, that's a looking good. That is, that is looking great, actually. Mmm. Leave that heat. Our mediums, you don't want to burn the bread before the cheese doesn't melt, then you don't have a grilled cheese. Something about, you know, we should probably already know that. But. Back in the day though, what I would do to make a grilled cheese is I would toast the bread, put the cheese on it, then throw it in the microwave. Yeah. Yeah. It goes from a toasted cheese sandwich to a grilled cheese. Okay, you think that those are done? I'm gonna let you decide. Oh, um, looking good. Yeah, I've made it. I'd blast the heat one more time. And burn the bottom of them, that's nice. Get me another paper towel here. Try to get a nice clean area for put them sandwiches on when you cut them. You always want to clean as you go. Stop your area. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think that'll do. Probably Take advice from him. Grain of salt. Speaking of salt, when we get them out, we're going to sprinkle them with. That was a good delivery. Sea salt. Sprinkle with sea salt. Right here. People are probably going to say, "Where's the bacon? Where's the bacon?" Well, you know what? We ain't doing no bacon. Do we ain't dealing with it. Okay. I think that those are probably. They ain't done. done. Okay, they're not done. Good. Yeah, they actually do. They smell good too. Turned out better than what I thought when we first started. I didn't think it was going to be too good. 
Well, I'm excited to eat this. I've only had two apples today. I, I had a McDonald's it. biscuit this morning. Two for four twenty-nine. I'm surprised to see what them artichoke hearts will taste like with that pesto. You mean you haven't heard? All right, we're probably good. Turn no, on. I said we weren't. We're going to continue burning them. We're not burning nothing. Get a good zoom on, on this crispness. Follow me on Pinterest for more recipes. He's, he's a natural chef. What are you doing? Making it good. <laughs> Look like I'm doing. Hear that? This is natural. Just like, just like Don Deloise. Hear that? Yeah. I'll have to throw the special kit. All right, bet. Do it. If I, if I drop this, we ain't using the special kit. Still got it. All right, now, All we're, right, now we're done. All right, we're going to place them on our cutting board oh, here. Oh, God. He, he ruined one. No, I did not ruin nothing. That one's yours. I ain't ruined nothing. Where's my cutting board? Right here. This one's yours. I ain't ruined nothing. We're going to cut now we the sandwiches of. diagonally. Uh -oh. They're off. Let's see how they turned out. Ready for the fire? I think it looks pretty pretty good, I think. Woo! Set that fire wall. This would go good with probably a tomato bisque or something. Corey, this one's yours. It's Okay, that's fine. It's I think it's where you smacked it and broke it apart. It's fine. All right, we're gonna plate these up. It don't even look bad. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Man. You're the one that destroyed it. Smacked it around. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, making it good. Well, there it's good now. That don't look bad, though. All right, that's how you do. No, uh, no, you didn't see salt it. Oh, yeah, that's right. God. We're gonna sprinkle just that's a- $4 for that. Little bit of sea salt over these. I think the first time I tried sea salt was when Wendy started putting them on their French fries. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank we're you gonna, all. We're going to let these cool down. Follow me on Pinterest for more ideas. That's how you do a pesto artichoke Havarti grilled cheese. Our way. My way. His gonna, way, her way, your way. I'm going to, oh, look at that cheese. Mm, I'm look gonna, at that. I'm going to try this. Yeah, give us the scoop on that. Mm. Don't eat, don't talk your mouth full. what I show you? It's good. It's actually really, really good. Get in there. Artichoke. Mm. Let us know in the comments or whatever if you've tried something like this before. Mmm.